Welcome to lesson number two in the Christian Basics course. In this lesson, we'll be talking about reading your Bible. Um, at last lesson, we talked about uh, about prayer. And really, those two things, prayer and reading your Bible, those are the two uh, most foundational things uh, to being a Christian. Um, they, If you do them together, they will help you. If you read the Bible, it'll help you to pray more. If you pray more, it'll help you to understand the Bible. You know, really, they kind of work together. Um, it'll help you to grow and mature um, as a Christian. It'll help you to um, become a more mature person as well. Um, so why should I read the Bible? There's, there's lots of different reasons. Uh, first off, it's one of the ways that God has chosen to reveal himself to us. You know, in the Bible, we see, okay, well, this is what God did. And we see, okay, well, um, this uh, this is what God said. So we get to, we get to see um, recorded instances of what God said and what God did. See, in our minds, we like to think that we know what God would do or should do. And But when we read the Bible, we read things that maybe aren't comfortable. Maybe they're things that we just don't think God should do. And that's kind of what happens in life, too. Um, you know, God, you could fix this problem, but why don't why won't you just fix it? You could fix it if you just said the word. It would all just go away and be fixed. And oftentimes God doesn't act in the way that we want him to act. He doesn't speak in the way that we want him to speak. Um, all, sometimes we're left with questions and no answers. But but in the Bible, we see, um, we see not always... The Bible doesn't always explain to us why did God do that, but instead of giving us the answers to why he did that, it helps us to grow and to learn from God in what he does. Well, he, I, God, I, I don't I don't know, and, and that's kind of the way it works in life too. God, I don't understand why you're doing this, but help me to learn from you. Help me to grow in you. Help me to be able to move past this. And in the Bible, you know, God revealed that to us. He showed us, hey, look, I don't always act the way that you think I should act. And here I'm going to write it down in this book so you see that I don't always act the way you want. Um, and we, when we read the Bible, we kind of get rid of the false ideas we get up here about what God does and doesn't do. And we start to learn more about who he, who he is. Excuse me. Um, it teaches us how to, um, how to live. You know, uh, how, how, excuse me, when we get off of drugs, um, a lot of times we just won't be real sure about some things. There are some things that are kind of, um, kind of we're not, just not real sure about it. There's some medications like Xanax, for instance. Well, should I take Xanax? Um, there's some things like marijuana. So, well, should I smoke pot? Um, you know, and we're just not real sure. Uh, should I stop drinking in total or... See, I mean, like, how, how, do I, how do I know these things? In the Bible, we learn how to live. Well, this person, this person, they mistreated me. Should I gossip about them? Should I talk behind their back? Should I try and fight them? Should I try to, you know, get back at them? Should I call them bad names? Well, no, I shouldn't do those things because the Bible says that I shouldn't do those things. It's not good. That doesn't make God happy. Those aren't the kinds of things that God calls good. That would be acting bad. Um, so the Bible teaches us those things. It teaches us how to live, um, what we should and shouldn't do. It teaches us how to do what's right, not just what is right, but how to do what's right. For instance, over here in the Bible, it'll say, okay, well, if you memorize uh, what's written in the Bible, it will help you to not do the wrong thing. Or over here, it'll say, okay, if you think about the things of the Bible, the good things in the Bible, it will help you to not do the bad things. Because what do we do? Somebody, somebody mistreats us, and so we start thinking a lot of bad thoughts. Uh, how, to, how we can get them back, how we can, you know, even the score. And in the Bible, if we think about the things in the Bible, it helps us, instead of thinking about how bitter we are and, and how hurt we are, we start thinking about God. And we start thinking about um, what God wants in that situation. And then we'll start memorizing things, and we'll start understanding more of what's in the Bible because we're just thinking about it all the time. And then we'll start being able to, to resolve our problems in a good way rather than going and you know, getting drunk or going and beating the crap out of them or something like that. Instead of doing those things, we'll instead forgive them. We will show them love. We will um, you know, do those things instead. And it just really changes the way that we look at the issue. At the end of the day, 
we will decide what is right or we will look to the Bible for what is right. See, I can either say I think that this is right because I feel like it's right or this is what's right because the Bible says it is right. I can either say, okay, this is what's right because others, other people tell me that this is what's right or because the Bible says it's right. Um, <coughs> excuse me. Um, for instance, uh, a couple years ago, uh, homosexual marriage was legalized. Well, the state says it's okay and the Bible says that it's wrong. Well, somebody's wrong and somebody's right. How do I decide? Um, our feelings, you know, okay, well, I think it's okay to look at pornography, but the Bible says, no, if you lust in your heart, that's sinning. You see what I mean? And so we can either say, okay, I'm deciding what's right based on what I think is right, what I feel, or um, other people are deciding what's right, and I'm going to just believe what they say, or um, the Bible says this, and so that's what's right and wrong. And then we just have to um, change our change what we've got going on. We've got to we've got to change how we live, and that's what the Bible is really really about. It helps us to know God more and and to and to walk with Him closer and to and to live like He wants us to live. It teaches us about God. It teaches us um, to know Him in a way that we wouldn't be able to know Him otherwise. Um, we can know that there's a God just by just by looking at creation. I mean. Um, you know, we go to school and we learn about things like the Big Bang and stuff, and, and we know that God is the one who caused those things to happen. He He created everything from nothing. You can look outside and you can know that there that there's God. You you can you know when you're doing something, you you kind of feel something in the back of your head and says, I shouldn't do this. You know, our conscience. We know that there's a God because we have a conscience, because of the creation, because of all these different things. But in the Bible, we get to know more of who He is. We get to know more of what he likes, of what his standard is. And uh, so it really teaches us about God. You know, it's easy to say, oh, I love God. And if you don't really know who he is, well, if I get to decide who God is, well, yeah, of course I like God because he's who I want him to be. But it's harder to see God act in a way that you don't want him to act and then say, okay, but he's God and I still love God. See, when God shows us who he is, are we going to accept him or are we going to deny him? A lot of times that's what happens with us. We, we put on this, this fake mask. You know, um, We show people somebody that we aren't really. We pretend to be someone. And then we want people to just accept us um, for that fake person. But God shows us who he really is. And he doesn't hide himself from us. And in the Bible, we can learn who he really is. And then we have to make the decision to follow him and to obey him. Be, that's who he is. Um, a lot of times we try and, and, and modify who God is, though. Um, the Bible gives us peace. Um, you know, it'll say things in it like, okay, um, even though I walk through the valley of the shadow of death, I will fear no evil. Well, why not? See, and then it goes on and talks about it. Um, we see in the book of Job uh, in the Bible uh, – uh, there was a good person who uh, had to go through all kinds of bad situations, even though he didn't deserve them. We see, um, you know, in the book of Ecclesiastes, uh, where someone is trying to figure out what's the purpose of life? Why am I here? You, you, you see in the book of Psalms, you know, people who don't have the right words, they, they don't, they're not feeling what's right. They, they don't know what to do with this anger that they have, this confusion that they have, but they seek after God and they learn to trust him. In a deeper way, they learn how to get peace by seeking after God. Um, or in the New Testament, where it says, "Hey, you know, um, don't don't give up meeting together. You know, Christians keep going to church. You know, it'll help you to um, to be comforted." Or where it says, "You know, okay, um, I give my peace to you. I give my comfort to you, so you can go and comfort other people." You know, and it, and it really helps us to, to to have something to cling on to, especially in the hard times. These are, it records times that other people had hard times too. You know, like Job, who I mentioned. You know, all of his kids died. Um, nobody was there for him. Even God wasn't wasn't giving him an answer. And uh, you know, and then to the end of the book, God never gives Job an answer for why those things happened. 
you know, he, he lost everything that he had. Everything, I mean, even his material wealth, I mean, it was all gone, you know, and so it, it kind of helps us to deal with what we've got going on in our lives and, and learn from that and to get peace in it. Um, oftentimes, God won't, God won't resolve our problems. Instead, he'll help us to get victory in the problems. See, God could, God could take away all pain from us. But he promises that he would not, and instead he, he uses our pain to teach us and to help us to learn and grow. Um, also, the Bible gives us life direction. Um, it helps us to know you know, what we should do with our lives, what, what, our, what the purpose of our life is, what, what we should strive for. Um, as, as we read the Bible, um, one thing that the Bible tells us is to memorize. Um, and as we memorize, that will help us to think about what's right, redirect our thoughts. Instead of thinking about these things that are irritating us or, or making us sad or whatever, we, we think about what the Bible says, and it helps us to control our thoughts um, and to uh, and to really think about good things, you know, God things, things that, that will help us instead of, excuse me, instead of things that will just help us to get um, more bitter and more angry. Um, and also, the, once again, the more we memorize Scripture, the more we'll learn because we're going over the same thing over and over again. Don't just read the Bible once. Continually read it throughout your life. Um, always, always, always press forward and know more. Um, so that takes us to one more thing I want to talk about, different translations. Originally, the Bible was written in, in, in ancient languages. Um, and because people don't speak those languages anymore, they translated it into English or Spanish or whatever language you speak. Now, some of these translations are more exact to what the language said originally, and some of them are less exact. Now, the reason why is because in any given two languages, there's never a complete overlap. There's always a little bit a little bit of difference. And different languages have different ways of thinking about stuff. And so in a more exact translation, they'll try to say exactly what the original was said. And in the less exact, they'll say, okay, maybe this is more of the idea of what's being said. Um, the more exact translations are harder to understand, and the less exact are easier to understand. Um, the message is, a, is an example of, of, okay, this is not exact. It's more of just um, a simplified version of the Bible. The New Living Translation, or NLT, if you look on your Bible on the, on the outside, on the, on, the, um, on, the, on the sleeve, it'll say you know, little letters on it, NLT, ESV, NASB. Those will tell you what translation it is. Now, if you want a more exact um, translation of what was actually said, you want to go with something like the NASB, the New American Standard Bible, or the ESB, English Standard Version. You can always talk to me, myself, uh, Chuck, or Randy, um, and we'll, we'll totally be more than happy to help you find a Bible that you can understand. Um, and you can get one that's easier to understand, and then you know move on to uh, maybe a little bit harder later on. Um, and different translations also have different age. Um, expectations, I guess you could say. Uh, some are written more for a high schooler. Um, some are written for a, a lower, a younger, not lower, I'm sorry, a younger kid, a lower uh, age is what I meant. Um, some are written for more college, you know, and graduate school um, thinkers. Some are more written for just everyday people, you know, and so there's a lot of different translations to pick from. Um, but that's the basics of it. Uh, there's a little more to, to it than that, but I, that, that's good enough. Um, so once again, th those two things, um, prayer and reading your Bible, those two things are really um, foundational to your health as a Christian. And uh, so as, as you're, you know, as you're just saved, you're getting ready to, to, you, you, to be a member of the church, uh, make sure that you're staying in the Word and staying in prayer, and you're just, you know, keep reading those things, keep reading the Bible, keep keep praying, uh, and, and, and do it faithfully, and you'll find that the rest of it will just go a lot smoother. Um, in the next lesson, lesson three, we'll be talking about going to church, and uh, I hope you're enjoying it.